Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 Creator Club series. So we start this episode in third and yeah, we have Morecambe next in the Papa John's Trophy, which will be a sim game. But before we get into that, drop a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated and hit that big red button underneath the video. It massively helps me out. So yeah, as I was saying guys, um, we start this episode in third because at the back end of the last episode, we, we lost three games on the bounce, which isn't exactly what we want. But we do have the same goal difference as first and second. Um, and to be fair, we're only two points off. So we're not that far behind, if I'm being honest. Plus, I'm pretty sure uh, where, you know, I think we should be fine for automatic promotion this season. I do want to focus on the league. I'm not bothered about any of the cups until I actually get into, like, the Prem, maybe, because cash. Um, but, yeah, no, we'll focus on those later on. We'll focus on those later on. But, yeah, let's jump into this Morgan game and let's get this episode started. All right, so Morgan, 6th of October 2021. We go with the rotation team, a quick sim. As I said, it should be a victory, and it's a draw. What? What the fucking hell is going on? All right, yo, 3-3. 3-3, three, three. Three, three. fair enough. All right, 3-3. Three, three. So Scott, Armstrong, and Robinson getting our goals. Henry, Pringle, and Mendez Gomez getting theirs. We absolutely dominated that game, but 3-3 three, three on the scoreline. So we're going to have to replay, I think. Um, I think that's how it works in the Papa John's Trophy. Um, no, wait, no, group stage. So it's a point. Um, which means we have to beat Ipswich in the next game, like in the next cup game in order to go through. That's how it works in this, in this trophy. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Skybet League 1, ladies and gentlemen, and it is the 9th of October. It is an away game against Charlton Athletic. We go with the first team. I'm going to just jump straight into this game. Ladies and gentlemen, we need three points. We need to beat Charlton here. So I am hoping I'm on the top of my game. Scott finds Ince. He's got Bill on the overlap. Cross comes in. Jackarini's at the back post. So is Wilson. So is Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, 1 0. We get lucky. We do get lucky. Um, the attempted clearance from the defender just falls straight to Wilson. Um, Wilson just into the back of the net. That's absolutely beautiful. It's exactly the start that we wanted as well. So, 1-0. Ref! That's a red. That is a red. Referee. You cannot accept that. That is surely a red. Thank you. Holy shit. That was a nasty challenge on Charlie King. Thank you very much. Absolutely disgusting. That was a leg breaker. I'm not impressed. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is shot worthy. But I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to try it with Ryan Scott. I'm going to stick the ball about... Here. Put some whip on it. Nah. Get a foot in. Don't let him dance around you. That's not handball. That's never handball. That is never handball. It went through him, bro. Did it? All right, VAR. <laughs> VAR. It's happening. So... I need to zoom in on the ball. I need to hide that. So as the cross comes in, yeah, it comes off his right hand. Comes off his right hand. The hitbox is fucking massive, but it does come off his right hand. Uh, that's fair. That's a pen then. Yep. Get out of here, bruv. Get the fuck out of here. I even dove early. That's how confident I was. I even dove early. Ref. Nah, ref, ref. I've kind of had enough of this. Ref. <laughs> send them off. Book them, send them off, do something. This is disgusting. This is disgusting behaviour. He's booked them. Aye. <laughs> Charlton going to absolute pot. Like, Jesus. Kane, with a long shot. That's... Unlucky. All right, guys, so second half, and we've been on top, to be fair. We have been on top. The red card in, you know, their 
you know, for their defender was kind of necessary. Ryan Scott's just nearly tanked his way through there. He's actually, oh, I was going to say he's actually won a bat as well. But no, we've been on top. We've had the most chances. Um, you know, we've played the better football, in my opinion. Um, we just need to, we just need to make more, oh, we just need to make more of our chances. Like when we, when we get them, when we make them. Because we're not taking our chances. Like, we create a chance. And, like, that. What the hell is that? You ran away from the ball, G. He wasn't even anywhere near you and you just locked off the ball. Like, this is what I mean by FIFA pissing me off at the minute. Like, it's, it's stuff like that that really grinds my gears. And then Jacarini just blasts that into the back of the net, bro. Oh, I love this Italian kid, man. I absolutely adore this kid. Youth Academy prospect, ladies and gentlemen, hence the number 98. And honestly, what a fucking guy. What an absolute guy. Oh, boom, have some of that. Left foot into the side net and keep a stud no chance. 2-0. Kane. Scott, back into Kane. The two midfielders linking up. Jacarini. Jacarini. Jacarini! Jacarini with that finish! Oh, I love this! This kid is amazing! Jacarini's like, nah, give me a bit of space and I'm gonna whip it into the far, like, far net. Right foot, left foot, it does not matter. This guy is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, Antonio Jacarini, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Jacarini Show. All right, so after going down to 10 men, this game got a lot, lot easier. Um, Charlton got a man sent off well into um, the first half there. Um, Doherty there, as you can see, or Doughty uh, on the left-hand side of the midfield there. But they could have easily had another man sent off as well. Innes, um, the, their right centre-back there, getting a yellow card. Um, Oshiala as well. The left centre back could have easily been sent off for a good few challenges as well. So we they could have been down to like nine or eight men at this point. But we did come away with a 3-0 victory. Jack Arini showing just how good he is in this series or in this second season. Um coming out of our youth academy with a perfect 10 rating in this match. Eric Wilson there, 8.6. Ryan Scott 8.8. I was fantastic. Uh I was well, he was fantastic, I should say, in the middle of midfield. I had to get, I had to think of words there. Uh, but yeah, Tyron Kane there, 8.1. Everyone else on an average rating. Good performance, 3-0, three points. Same game now against Wick and Wanderers at home, 13th of October 2021. We have Sunderland in our next game, so I'm going to actually play that game. So this is going to be a quick sim, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a 1-0 victory. Jack Marini again getting on the score sheet. Seven shots to seven chances to their 2-2. Two two. 61% possession to their 39. Happy with that. Kept them, you know, dominated them, kept them out, clean sheet, all that good stuff. Three points again. All right, guys, and this is the game that we've all been waiting for. We have Sunderland versus Talents FC in the Skybet League 1. It is the 16th of October 2021, and it is the Sunderland Derby. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been looking so forward to this. I have been looking forward to this one. So we go with the rotation team. And they've gone with a pretty strong lineup of, well, I say pretty strong, but Remy Matthews there in uh, goal. Bailey Wright, Ollie Younger, and Arbenetja Marley there in centre back. I don't know who Douglas is, but Lugo 9 there at right back. Grant Ledbetter, Max Power, and Josh Scowen in the mid in midfield. Will Grigg still up front. No Charlie Wyke, but they have do have someone called McGuinness up front as well. So two players there that I'm not actually familiar with, but everyone else is pretty much a Sunderland player still right now. So we're going to jump in, like I say, we're jumping into this, and I'm going to try and go easy on Sunderland. But if they, if they might not leave me much choice, boys, they might not leave me much choice. Either way, I will be going for the three points. All right, so Sunderland have Conor McLaughlin, Lyndon Goose, Charlie White, Tom Flanagan, Chris McGuire, Jack Diamond on the bench with Lee Burge as well. Ah, that is a bloody strong bench. Ah, in before Charlie White comes on and ends up scoring against us. But anyway... Let's just get this game underway and let's hope Sunderland don't do us dirty here. He's up against the defence. It's McGuinness. Back into Will Grigg. Imagine Will Grigg scores right now. <laughs> Will Grigg scores. I'm, I'm retiring. 
Oh my god, Will Griggs just tackled us. Can, can we not? Can we not? Can we not? Can we fucking not? Nah, Luke, 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 Luke. Nah, nah, we get us. We get us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Josh. That's not it. Nah, what the fuck? Have I just given away for it? What? What happened? What just happened? Why is he sliding in? I brought the keeper out, bro. Ah, shit. Alright. It's led, but at a step up. He's put it the right. He's put it the wrong way. We go 1 0 down in the derby. James. Actually, we actually have a foot on the ball right now. He feeds that through for Hunter. Hunter. Back into James. Ah, that was a chance. That was a chance. He does pick the ball back up. Hunter still has it. Gets it across the face. Remy Matthews there to pick it up. Hunter. Robinson. James. We'll work in the space. Hunter, get your shot. Unlucky. Alright guys, so 35 minutes have passed. And to be fair, Will Grigg is winning everything in the air for Sunderland. And why, why are we not getting that ball back? Thank you. But... Yeah, now Will Griggs winning everything in the air right now. Um, you know, we can't seem to break down the three-man defence of Sunderland. We're, Hunter doesn't want to seem to hold on to the ball. It's it's a bit it's like I'm not playing too like I'm not playing badly. It's it, it's the players, it's FIFA. It's FIFA doing its thing. Like players are not doing what I told them to, etc. Um, you know, they're having bad touches for no reason whatsoever. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. But we have an attack on here. And we finally do get a goal. Thank God for that. I had to take my time. I had to take my time and think about what I wanted to do. But we do finally get the equaliser. Players not doing what they are supposed to be doing is slightly annoying. But Max Power is winning everything in the middle of the midfield for Sunderland. Will Griggs winning everything up top. It's six and two threes. But, you know, it, this game can still go either way. So I've made a substitution, ladies and gentlemen. I've had to take uh, Baker off in the middle of this, like, at centre-back. Um, and I've brought Ryan Scott on in his place. So Ryan Scott is playing temporary centre-back in this game. To be fair, it's not the ideal situation. Um, I don't actually have any centre-backs on the bench. And Scowan's just gone and scored because players out of position and not doing as they're told. Yet again. Fantastic. Back to fucking square one. But... You know, it's it's not it's like I say, it's not the most ideal situation. Um we just work with it, you know. Go on, James. Go on, son. I think we've lost this, ladies and gents. Too many too many players not doing as they're told yet again. Um it's disappointing, but it is what it is. Unless Hunter can do something here. Hunter. Beautiful. 2-2. Two, two. <sighs> too many players not doing as they're told. But Hunter made the right run. And Hunter does get on the score sheet again. 4-2-2. Two, two. James. Tries to lift this over. For Hunter. Hunter! Off the post. Hunter rebound. Yes. Oh my god. We've actually done it. We've actually done it. We've actually done it. We've genuinely just done this. We. How are we doing this? I have no idea how I'm doing this. But we're doing it. Like. Hunter has just single handedly. Just brought us back to life. Yo, if you're a neutral, if you're a neutral supporter, hell of a game. Absolutely hell of a game. Alright guys, so we're literally coming into the final minute of the match of at a time as well. And Sunderland are just holding the ball. Kick it and it's all over. Or not. Don't you dare. I was going to say, don't you dare Chris Maguire. Don't you dare Christopher. But anyway, 
Hunter, Isaac Hunter, ladies and gentlemen, has single-handedly given us the victory in this match. We've somehow pulled it back from an absolutely abysmal performance to an excellent performance from Isaac Hunter. He is our obvious man of the match with a perfect 10. Kevin James then 9.1, setting up a lot of the things, getting all three assists. Wow. Um, but yeah, everyone else on an average rating. The performance was really, really good from both Sunderland and ourselves. If you're a neutral supporter, fantastic, fantastic game. Um, obviously, their man of the match was looking to be Josh Scowen with a 7.6 looks like it yeah but apart from that like i say a good performance good good match for the neutral spectator all right and skybat league one final game of the episode and it is the 23rd of october it's a home game against peter barrett it's a quick sim going with the first team hopefully jack Marini can continue his good run of form it is a defeat fuck we went 2-0 down johnson they're getting our goal jones and clark harris getting theirs it's a defeat to end off the episode ladies and gentlemen so let's see where that leaves us in the table all right, guys, and at the end of this episode, we are top of League One with goal difference. That's it. It's goal difference that separates us. So 36 points there with Peterborough, who we just lost to, which is why we needed to win that game. Um, we have Ipswich next in like in the start of the next episode, so I'm probably probably going to be a played game that one. Um, it is uh, potentially. You know, it, it, it's really tight at the top of this league, to be fair. Um, so, you know, we're on 36, Peterborough's on 36, Coventry and Ipswich are on 34, and Fleetwood's on 31. So, realistically, anyone from fifth upwards can still go up yet. Um, it's not fully decided, but hey-ho, we'll see how it goes. So, yeah, Sunderland dropped down in ninth, or sorry, no, yeah. Yeah, they dropped down to ninth. Or oh, they've gone up to ninth? I don't know. I can't remember where they were in, at the start of this episode. Um, but they have gone up to 24 points. They've got at least they've got a positive goal difference. I will say that. Um, they have Fleetwood next, who are fifth. So technically, you know, on paper, I think someone would have that one. But yeah, no. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, ladies and gentlemen. But if you have, drop a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon so you know when I release your content or go live. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and goodbye. <laughs>